Hi everyone, I'm sitting here with a wet dog on my lap, <laughs> but I'm going to attempt repairing three holes in this very nice Talbot's cardigan sweater I have. It's a lightweight sweater, but it's wool. So apparently I had some moths that got in or larva or whatever. So I'm going to try this repair that um, I saw a video on it oddly just two weeks ago and one week ago I pulled the sweater out to iron it to wear and saw the little holes. So this repair does not involve sewing. It involves using fusible interfacing. Fusible, you know, there's webbing. I went to the store. It's been so many years since I bought interfacing, but when I used to sew in the 70s, a lot of my clothes, I used fusible interfacing for collars and cuffs, things like that. So I bought just an eighth of a yard, and um, let's see if I can do this. So here we have my sweater on the ironing board, and this is the wrong side, the inside of the sweater. And here I have a piece of the fusible interfacing. They had several different thicknesses, several different kinds, so I pulled them out at Joanne's Fabrics, and I just had them on their cutting board and decided which one to get just based on conversations with people. Now, most videos you'll see they cut it in a square or rectangle, but I want a circle because I really don't want um, any of those corner edges. Now the thing is, I want to bring the little hole together as much as possible, which isn't all that easy. This is probably the hardest part, to pinch it together without it looking like it's being pinched. Now one woman showed a t-shirt being repaired and the hole was bigger, the t-shirt was red. And she actually took the fusible side of this and she colored it with a red fabric marker, which I thought was brilliant for a small piece. So these um, interfacings, you'll see if you go to the store, it comes with instructions. You want to read it because I got such a small piece. It really didn't come with the piece I needed. So I read it while I was there. So in mine... You set it down and then I have a piece of t-shirt material that I'm going to put down. The iron is set to the wool setting and then I'm going to dampen with a spray bottle filled with water. And then it said, let me check my iron, oh it's not on. Alright, then we're pausing. Alright, the iron's preheated, I did a little more dampening and I'm going to hold the iron here for about 15 seconds. All right, and then it said to check if it's dry here. If it's not dry, it needs a little more time. Hmm. I think it's not dry. So I'll do a little more time. Oh, by the way, on the iron, I turn the steam off because I really don't need the steam since I already have the wet. Okay. Now let me flip it over. It's actually stuck on the tripod. And there we go. So let's see if I can get this right under the camera. So the hole was right here oh, under the camera. The hole is actually right here, so that looks pretty good. And I actually have two more to do, so that's a nice way to repair a hole. And um, I'm going to wear my sweater again. So that's it. That's how I repaired the sweater. I don't, well, you can kind of see the hole because I'm in a bright light. I can I can see that there's a circle here, probably because this is a really lightweight sweater. Um, but if I wear something, like wear it with a light color top over it, I don't think you really see the circle that much. So this will work really great on thicker knits, t-shirts, sweaters. And yeah, I'm going to keep that fusible interfacing around for a long time. I think it's a nice, such a nice big piece. So hopefully I'll figure out how to get rid of the, um, the moths without mothballs.
Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Check out some of my other videos by clicking one of the images on the right side of your screen or mouse over the upper right hand corner. A little eye appears and you can see some other videos on similar topics. Bye.